Exposition by Charles Hedden Spurgeon, Romans 3, 9. Verses 9, 10. What then? Are we better than he? No, in no wise, for we have before proved both Jews and it Gentiles, that they are all under sin. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. There is none that understands, there is none that seeks after God. They are all gone out of the way, they are together become unprofitable, there is none that does good, no, not one. Their throat is an open sepulchre, with their tongues they have used deceit, the poison of asps is under their lips. Whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness, their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are in their ways. And the way of peace have they not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. This is a description of man given by prophets in the olden times. Now, says Paul, we know that what things soever the law says, it says to them who are under the law. So that this is a description of the Jews, a description of the people who had the light of God, the best people that were then upon the face of the earth, and if these are the good people, where are the Gentiles, the bad ones without the light? 19, 22. Now we know that what things soever the law says, it says to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped and all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore by the deeds of the law there shall no flesh be justified in his sight for by the lad w is the knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the lad w and the prophets, even the righteousness of God which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. There is no righteousness of works on the face of the earth. The law, itself, describes men as being sinful from their throat to their feet. Almost every member of their body is mentioned and described as being foul with sin. But, says Paul, there is another righteousness on the face of the earth, and that is the righteousness of God's grace, which comes through believing in Christ. 23, 31. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood, to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past, through the forbearance of God. To declare, I say, at this time his righteousness, that he might be just and the justifier of him which believes in Jesus. Where is boasting then? It is excluded. By what law? Of works? No, but by the law of faith. Therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Is he the God of the Jews only? Is he not also of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also seeing it is one God, which shall justify the circumcision by faith and uncircumcision through faith. Do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid. Yes, we establish the law, 